Time flies. Okay. I wonder what would happen if I just left it like this and didn't leave any, didn't put any watches out or didn't talk or anything. If I just left it like this. Let's see, Mr. Todd is here. <coughs> Excuse me. Bean Boy's here. Just opened your uh, watches a little bit ago, Billy. Tennessee Mike joining us. Anonymous watch guys here. Whew. I might have to switch to 8 o'clock soon. I don't know. 9 o'clock starting to feel late to me. Mr. Mark is here. Thanks for joining. Brave Sailor in the house. Thanks for joining. Joe, Jeff. I can probably start putting out a few watches. I did a bunch of unboxings before... We started the show. Matt, rock the watches here. Yeah, Tennessee Mike, I could probably do that. I could probably switch it up and do like 8.30 and see how that works. Let's see. Matt for rock the watches here. Nate Dog, Will Carey's here. Paul. Nick V. Isaac. Ken. Got a Seiko here. I'll have to do a video on this one. I have not handled... I don't think I've handled this particular model in this colorway. Pretty cool colorway, I think. This green just looks like it's glowing all the time. Larry C's here. Paul, I picked up no Black Friday or Cyber Monday deals at all. Nothing was really speaking to me. There's a couple of watches I have my eyes on, but uh, they weren't part of the sale, and I'm just going to wait. I might even go into a no-buying spree, which is hard to say. Let's see. Chris from Watch Lounge is here. What's up, Rob? Wearing the Black Bay 58. Of course, he got that as a one-year anniversary gift from his employer, Luxury Bazaar, and the great people over there. That's pretty cool. I did actually buy a watch today, so don't, you know, take whatever I say with a, a grain of salt. I actually bought this watch today, the uh, Citizen Orca. Picked that up used. I typically don't like buying used watches, but um, I was wearing the Seiko Turtle today. Still have not did put a fitted bracelet on it yet. I'm still just wearing it on this straight end link bracelet. But that works. It gets it done. Let me try this Orca on. I haven't had one of these on in a long time. Matt says he's not buying watches because he is broke. Well, I mean, broke is a state of mind, I suppose. But here's that Orca on wrist. Yeah, I'm I'm happy with this one. I I love the the black colorway with that super vibrant orange minute hand. Yeah, I, it's definitely going to be a divisive watch. I think there's a lot of people out there that are not cool with this one. They don't like it, but I'm telling you, man, this thing on wrist is so comfortable. And they're going to do more models. They're going to do um, a new model coming out. I think with a bracelet and stuff. Let's see. But it says, uh, I'm broke now after the Murph and the Helson. Yeah, that happens. I think I'm becoming a Hamilton Oholic. Will Carey's enjoying his Hamilton. There are some really good Hamiltons out there. I'm excited. I'm a little worried, but still excited that new 38 millimeter Murph has a really short lug to lug. I think like 44 or 45. That might be a little too short. I'm still going to check it out and see how it goes. But I do want to add a Hamilton to the collection. Um, this one looks like the OG one. It's, I think it's a newer one. Heck, I don't know. I, got, I picked it up from Jeff McMahon, so... 
<clears throat> Let's see, I got some G-Shocks in. This thing here is actually some crazy special or limited edition one. It's a 6900, I forget the actual number on it, but it has the multi-band, has the tough solar, and fully translucent, transparent, whatever you want to call it, um, case and strap. So 6903K, so yeah, pretty wild. What does that say? Ice, Isaac, Isaac, I C E R C. It's a crazy special edition. Oh, Hector says this is the new one. It just re resembles the OG one. And then, like I said, um, I think some of the earlier ones they were actually titanium, or at least they had a uh, at least one model number that was titanium these are all stainless steel um i'd i'd be down with rocking a titanium one especially on bracelet that'd be awesome but i gotta get this situated there i mean it's super comfortable matt says watches i need slim turtle prx powermatic 80 monta noble that would work yeah hector says they were titanium that's what i thought i haven't handled one but i've i've read up on them Uh, Jordan says, can't wait to see your review of the Borealis Fandango. I noticed Carlos sent me something. It's It should arrive soon. It it must be that watch. I don't know. He sent me something. I have a, a ton of G-Shocks in right now. The Chrome Bling Master or whatever you want to call it. I guess Silver Chrome Bling Master. That's in right now. Cool watch. Um, Turret Tube says, how can I buy a random rob mug and poker chips if possible? So the poker chips, these guys here are not really for sale. They are given out at the watch meetups. Like this one was made for the Las Vegas meetup. And then this one was made for the Baltimore meetup. Okay. And then we have this one for the Southeast Michigan meetup, which I don't know that I'm doing a Michigan meetup officially this year. I haven't decided yet. So there was that one. And then this one was for the Orange County, California, which I think we did two different variants. Yeah, there's kind of two different variants you could get. I think I have a few more. This one was just made for the fun of it. It's called the Flipper Coin. Um, well, I don't really have any. I have to make new mugs. I think I have. I have one mug left. So I have one mug left, and I what I normally do is I keep that stuff for just random giveaways in my Discord group. So, um, it, but a lot of the watches that have been selling on the Sunday Fun Day sale, I have been putting a different poker chip in. Let me grab one. Um, I've been putting these, which I know look essentially the same as the Vegas one, but it's my, it, I'm using these instead of like a business card. It's basically just a QR code for, um, you scan that and it takes me, takes you right to the Random Rob YouTube page. So I have been throwing these in most of the packages when I send them out for people that bought from the Sunday Fun Day, but I, I probably forgot some, but I've been sending those to most. And then occasionally I'll throw in, um, I don't know, whatever. Actually, I have some shirts I need to ship out too. I have the shirts still. I'm working on hats and maybe a hoodie or something soon. Um, yeah. Yeah, Bean Boy, that was actually uh, Calico's idea. So props to uh, Calico. 
for that. Yeah, so I don't know. Get a hold of me, and I can I can try to get you one. But is there a future meetup planned, Tim? I'm working on a meetup for um, Louisville. Louisville, and I'm going to do that one in May. So typically, the middle of May is reserved for the Michigan meetup. This year, I'm going to do Louisville in the middle of May. So that's my plans. Got a few watches to put out still. But it's most of these meetups, they're, you know, typically for the uh, Discord group people. So we'll see if we have any openings for anybody else. But here's one of those digital Yamas. This was sent in. You have to hit the button for the display to come out on this particular, on these models. Whereas, what is that? I think the Hamilton one, it just shows it all the time. Here's a modded G-Shock. So it looks like the titanium, but it's definitely stainless steel. It's got some weight to it. But uh, feels like similar quality. There are some discrepancies like this. I can see there's something going on here with this. Oh, there it goes. Just needed to be snapped back up. I don't know why I did that. Maybe in shipping or something. But feels similar quality to the uh, OEM G-Shock metal. Um, I have this guy, which is the Metal Cased 2100 series. I actually owned this exact model. I really enjoyed it. I don't think I have it anymore, do I? I don't. So for some reason I sold it. Uh, let's see. Anonymous Watch Guy says, yeah, you can buy those coaster watch dials from uh, Uncle Seiko. Yeah, these ones you can pick up from Uncle Seiko. These ones, not so much. These are Seiko uh, limited edition. These were in the uh, Zimbi 12 or something. I can't remember, 12 or 13. And it came with 12 or 13 of them in there, marking each Zimbi leading up to that particular one. Um, I just picked up a full set of those. So I, I had those two over there. I just grabbed two more and put them over here, but I have a full set now. But these are really cool. They're very robust, nice coasters. Uncle Seiko's crushing it with some designs and some bracelets and accessories. Let's grab some more watches, shall we? I finally got my Dufresne Travis. If you remember or if you watched or not, I had the green one in, but I got to choose which one I wanted for me to keep, and I picked this one, kind of like a, almost like a tropical blue color, um, but on bracelets, a nice looking watch. So I just got that guy in and put the bracelet on it. What else did I get in? Um, a steel dive, tuna style. <laughs> Matt says, uh, why did you sell the sub? Were you out of kidneys? Um, you know, it's funny. I did that room tour in State of the Collection video. And that l legit, the most um, common comment down in the comments section was, uh, where's the sub? Where's the sub? Well, I don't know. I had the sub for over a year. Uh, I stopped kind of wearing it, and I. it's still an amazing watch. It's like perfection. I, I, I'm not saying it's anything less than that. But with a lot of the watches that I like to wear, they have a little more pop to them, right? These, the Zodiac, you know, I like a little more pop. I like a little more color. So, um, and I had a lingering debt on my daughter's car that she uses. So I took the opportunity to sell the sub and I used that money and some a few more thousand that I had saved and I paid off uh, a vehicle. I don't like carrying debt on vehicles, so uh, depreciating asset. But So that's what I did with it. Uh, I have no regrets. And uh, it went to a, a, a great guy and a good owner. So Hey, Junior Johnson, checking in from Michigan. Somebody's asking, how's the quality on the steel dive on this? I gotta say, man, I like the the double dome sapphire crystal on it is 
a little more low key. It's not super punchy. It's not super high. Bezel action. Very Seiko vibe to it. Um, it looks like a ceramic bezel insert. Nice clean transition from off the crystal to the bezel. I don't, I don't know. This looks like a, a pretty dang good nice. Does the steel dive have sharp any sharp ends around the lugs? Um, I don't on the on this bracelet there's some edges but no it's it's all smoothed out just like a, a regular tuna would be it's let me check the crown action here because this is automatic nice pop to it nice smooth wind yeah it's clean This is a nice watch. These guys have getting gotten things kind of like all sorted out. I don't know what like the earlier generations are or anything, but let's see. Hopefully you kept the orange monster. Good riddance, making good money over. Uh, yeah, I still have the orange monster. That'll never go anywhere. Did anybody see any really good deals on the Cyber Monday? I'm sure they're out there. I didn't see any. Matt says his retirement plan is to buy a lottery, but he never buys it or to win the lottery, but he never buys the tickets. I'm kind of with the, with you on that one, Matt. I might be mistaken, but it appears that you're wearing the Orca watch. Yes, I actually this arrived today. Um, Jeff McMahon sent it, and I went ahead and sent him the money for it. So I always knew I was going to pick up one of these from the first time I checked one out. I thought they looked really cool, but then when I put one on, these are like crazy, crazy comfortable on wrist. So, yeah, pick it up. Let's see. Well, here's a brand I've never messed with or really heard of. I think I've heard of it. And I don't know if I'm going to say it right, but Sizen. I don't know if that's right. Bracelets, I don't know if this is the, this might be an aftermarket bracelet. Dane's here, number one troll killer. How is the length on the strap on the Orca? Too long. It is pretty long. I mean, you can see how much, I have a seven and a quarter inch wrist, and you can see how much is left there. I mean, you could probably wear this up to a nine inch wrist. Um, but it's, it has so... I mean, you can go super tight with it or super loose with it. I mean, look how many holes you have there. I mean, there's tons of range on this thing for sizing. So, And there's going to be a newer model coming out. I don't think it's out yet, but there's going to be a new model coming out with a bracelet. So I was that stock bracelet. for the, I don't know. Is it the stock bracelet for it? The, stock, the bracelet on this is questionable. But the, the watch, seem, I'm assuming these are super affordable. If, I mean, if it's a super affordable watch, then yeah, it works. But Dane says he wishes Mimo would do a discount on the Accutrons. It's towards the end of the year, Dane. Send him a message. I see he's been wearing one. I don't know if he bought one for himself or what. Yeah, I was going to say, it, it seemed like a little bit large for your wrist, Billy. But Also, Billy sent in an Invicta 1953. Timeless classic. Really, just buy one of these, and you're all set. I can't even get it on my wrist. I'd have to back it out a little bit. I have one, but I never wear it. The old 1953, getting it done. Uh, let's see, what else did I get in? Devosa. It's been a while since I've had this brand on the channel. 
And the last time I had a Devosa with this dial color, it was a big, thick, heavy-duty watch. This one, not so much. This thing is slim. It's like less than 12 millimeter thick, and that's including the double dome sapphire crystal. Aluminum bezel insert. Yeah, this one is slim and it is very comfortable. It's a USA special edition. I think it's a USA only release or something. I don't know. So this is the one of the leather straps it comes with. I love how it like cracks and everything. It looks cool. Um, it will come on a bracelet with polished center links though. So you can wear it in either configuration. So that thing is crazy thin though. It's awesome. And it's, you know, still automatic. I don't know what movement is in here though. It says Swiss made, so I don't, I'll have to look it up. It might be a Salita. Tennessee Mike seems to think I did a Devosa giveaway when I hit 20,000 subscribers. That was a little while ago. Why, do you remember Mike because you won it? Because <laughs> Mike seems to win a lot of giveaways. Getting a weird glare on the Invicta. Let's see. A modded Seiko is in in a sub style case. It's a little beat up. Some of these watches are pretty beat up. Um, let's see. A very used Orient. This thing is scratched up pretty dang good. Still looks cool. Makes you wonder, you know, could you deal with picking up a used watch all scratched up? This one needs a good scrubbing too. I don't know why people send me in dirty watches, but whatever. Um, an Islander. Very nicely sized Islander. I don't know if I can get this over my wrist or not, but love the pop of orange on that. Matt, yeah, the Orient series, the Ray and the Mako, I had that stuff early on as well. Am I setting up for another Sunday fun day? Yes, I am, but probably not these watches. I still have like a ton of other ones I have to go through. These are just kind of showing you what just came in. This is like a precursor, but yeah, I'm doing a Sunday fun day um, this, this weekend. We'll do one Sunday. Here's a to sell. Very cool looking watch. Clean design. Again, very worn. Lots of scratches on this guy. We'll have to check to see if it's running good. What is the teal one on the left? This guy here, Dane. This is a Duf uh, Dufresne Travis. Oh, Steve says those size and watches are made by Merker. Okay. Nice, uh, simple bracelet, quick release spring bars. These are assembled in Texas. Pretty clean design. I had the green one on the show. <laughs> Dane says send them to Florida. Yeah, this would be a good uh, color down there in the nice sunny Flor Florida region. That bluish, greenish, teal, whatever you want to call it, would really pop out, I think, in the sun. In the Florida sun. Um, let's see. Check this one out. This is that limited edition. Urban Gentry. And. Island. Islander. And the Urban Gentry. They did a pretty dang good job on this watch. It's a nice, clean, simple design. I'm digging it. Too small for me, but for people that like the smaller watches, this thing's pretty much on point. I think TGV and Mark did a really good job with this one. <sighs> Let's see. That's it. It's all the watches.
will be in Sarasota for Christmas. I don't think I'm going to make it there this year. I did like going down and staying in that area, the uh, Anna Marie Island, Siesta Key, Sar Sarasota, even up to Clearwater and everything like that. Uh, let's see. Used watches give them character. Oh, yeah, but these are <laughs> these are definitely used. They need to be... Um, well, they're going to be priced accordingly, assuming they run good still. So if they don't run good, then I, I don't know what I, I'd probably just send them back. It's not even worth trying to get rid of them. Uh, let's see. SPG says, Rob, you should check out Vayer and Hager. Vayer made in LA, Hager made in Maryland. I think I've worked with Vayer before. I can't remember what's on the brown leather strap. This is a, a new release from Devosa. I already got it smudged up. But, I mean, check how thin that is. It's, I mean, basically 12 millimeter thick, but that's including this double dome sapphire crystal. Automatic, beautiful blue to dark blue gradient dial. You get it on bracelet, too. It goes on bracelet, but then it, they include a leather strap. I put this one on leather. 100 meter water resist, screw down crown. Nice pop to it. I don't know. It says Swiss made on it, so I don't know if it has a Salida. I don't think I've ever seen a Swiss made watch with a Miota, so it must have a Salida or something, and I'll have to look on their website. My solid crown. Yeah, Devosa uses Swiss movements, so doesn't really say on here. It just says Swiss made, so I'm guessing Salida. Uh, let's see. Toad says, "Hey Rob, recap on why you sold the sub, and because you sold the sub, what's your prized possession now?" I don't think of material possessions the same way a lot of people think of them. So, um, you know, I like a lot of the watches, but you know, prized possession. I don't know if I really can pick that. Uh, the reason I sold the sub, um, I wasn't wearing it. It started to feel, I don't want to say boring, because I don't. I think that's making it sound like the watch is less than what it is. The Rolex Submariner is a phenomenal watch. It's quite frankly the kind of like the best iconic diver that you could probably get. Um, but... I wasn't reaching for it to wear. I was reaching to wear things with more bold colors and uh, vibes to them or something unique, you know, you know, or like an Oris Aquas or something, stuff like that. So um, with that being said, I, I, uh, I was only really kind of thinking about selling it. And then a buddy of mine um, expressed interest in it. And we we came to a, a deal that was both of us were happy with, and I I sold it to him and he paid for it. So I used that money to pay off a, a vehicle debt. So I don't owe money on those vehicles. So he's happy. He's it, the timing for him was perfect too. So otherwise, I hadn't really planned on selling it necessarily. It just kind of worked out that way. Um, oh, Dane says, in random Rob, would you please help me with a rumor kill? Tell folks it wasn't me who bought your sub. No, Dane did not buy my sub. Dane, didn't you actually get the 40 mil one anyway? I had the 41, the newer one. I, can't, I don't know which one you picked up, but where's the white dial OP? Yeah, right. That one, same thing. Um, I had it, wore it, enjoyed it. I think the timing was off for me to pick up a Rolex when I had that one. I wasn't in the right place, but was it a ZL1 Camaro? Yeah, Dane, you have the previous generation to the one I had, so. No, mine went to, I don't think it's any big secret. I think he was here in the chat. Uh, my buddy Mark picked it up. 
We don't need to like have secrets and stuff like that. He was he was trying to get one at retail and it just was never going to happen. So, and I sold it way lower than uh, what gray market would have sold him, but obviously a little bit more than what retail would have been. So, he was happy. I was happy. Whatever. Uh, let's see. Mark Goldberg's here. Thanks for the comment. What am I drinking? Um, a little bit of peanut butter and jelly. It's uh, peanut butter whiskey, and then I use like uh, a low calorie. It's like ten calories per serving. Some sort of like it's kind of like grape juice, but I don't know how they make it with magic or something that brings it down to only ten calories. So, peanut butter and jelly is what I call it. Uh, let's see. I still have my Air King. The Air King's not going anywhere. So I really like it. I still haven't even unpacked my watches from uh, Thanksgiving. So uh, Tim says his AD sold him a Grail two weeks ago, the Rolex Sea Dweller, and he's afraid to wear it. Just wear it, man. Still have Seamaster. I do not have an Omega. I do not have a Tudor. Um. As far as like luxury watches go, I guess I really only have the Air King and that's like the ugly duckling of the lineup. So um, so um, Steve is saying Rob Screwball peanut butter whiskey. I've tried some others. Um, I'm finishing up a bottle of, I think it's called Squirrel. I don't like it as much. It's okay. But the screwball one is the best. Oh, yeah, Kevin. <laughs> I have two Breitling. I forgot about the Breitling. Um, yeah, I have a lot of watches right now. I, I, have, I have two Breitling, so. Ring the Doxa 200 yellow today, says the big wrist. That's awesome. Paul, my wife, and I, we're really happy with them. Only live once, just wear it. Heck yeah, Screwball has a chocolate. Uh, more of the peanut butter taste to me. Yeah, I, so I watched this guy called um, Club Dirty. He's on YouTube, I think. He does shorts mostly. And that's where I learned about the mix. And he did just recently do some chocolate whiskey with the peanut butter whiskey and called it like a Reese's. So I might have to try that at some point. But I'm also cutting way back on a lot of excessive things, so. Ah. Tore up tube says, the reason I wanted to pick up one of the items is because you, you don't think you'll ever run into me. So I was doing that too, like when I'd run into people, I'd give them like a, a poker chip or something like that too. Just send me an email. I mean, unless you plan on picking up something on a Sunday fun day, but. Yeah, just send me an email too, but I'll, I'll uh, see what I can do for you. What else? I have some more stuff here. Let me see. Where is the, uh... oh, I packed it all away. I got all my watches packed up. I do want to wear this thing some more. This thing is crazy vibrant. And it's titanium. It's a little weird feeling in a couple spots. Like it's like that it feels a little rough, but I think that'll break in over time. Let's see, I haven't tried screwball peanut butter or Dr. Pepper, it's supposed to be good. I have, uh, I don't have any Dr. Pepper, I, I could try that. Love the orange, yeah, and it's a full loomed orange dial, it's crazy. Uh, let's see, quality of this one, I would say it's pretty dang good. Bracelet feels good, nice and smooth, refined, has a basic clasp, only three micro adjust, so that's... 
one maybe a little nick, but let's see, screw down crown, nice pop to it, wind feels smooth. Uh, no ghost date, so it's just a single pull and then it's right to adjusting the time. It has a 24-hour track on the uh, chapter ring inside there too, I just noticed. Crown and tube seems good, threads in nice. I think overall it's a really good, uh, good watch. This live is actually not mine. This was sent in for the Sunday Fun Day action, but I have the, the same style, but I have the um, that quadrant one. I don't know where it's at, it's put away. But um, it's it's actually, I like it a lot. It's, it's on the larger side of things, but it wears pretty dang good, and it's really well built. Oh, SPG, so I don't really have a, any skin in the game when it comes to college football or anything like that, but I was, where I was uh, doing my Thanksgiving uh, celebration, uh, it, there's U of M alumni there, and they're they're very excited to watch that game, and um, early talks before the game started, I mean, you realize that Ohio State uh, was doing really good, and uh, it was gonna, they knew that Michigan was probably not going to win, but that game turned out to be awesome, so... Rob, will you get a Dryden Heartlander in for review? I hope so. I was working with him before. I might have been there. Reading some comments. Keep thinking about buying a live. I'm not sure about them. Tim, they are very solid, well-built watches. I don't know what the price points are on them, but I can tell you like it's a really well-built watch. But it is a quartz watch, so I mean keep that in mind. Maybe that's a plus for you. Maybe it's a minus. They do have automatics as well, um, but I think their prices are fairly reasonable. YZ80 says, what would be on your list if Santa were to bring a mid-level luxury watch down the chimney? Hmm. I don't know what price point you're looking at. So the watches that I'm looking at right now, uh, one, I want the Fortis F39 is one watch that I'm looking at pretty heavily. Uh, pretty obtainable. I think they're around two grand, something like that. I mean, it's still a lot of money. That's why I haven't bought one. But uh, Fortis F39 is one I'm looking at. And then I swear there was another one. Say two to five thousand. Um. So I know there's some watches that I can get in that range at discount that are pretty awesome, but I don't really want to mention them. So, yeah, I think that Fortis is the only one I'm kind of really, like, obsessing about. Like, it, I'm not going to be able to uh, – I have to, like, try it. I have to own it or try it. So I'm talking to Fortis right now. So we'll we'll see. <laughs> Luke says get the Fortis. I'm I'm probably gonna get the Fortis. Uh, you, some of your pictures definitely help push me over the edge, and even that 21 millimeter lug width. I know some people are like dogging on that, but you can get a decent strap that's 21 mil, or you could put um, some sort of maybe like Erica's original or something on there, and it would work pretty good. And I'm assuming the leather strap that it. Oh, let me back up. The one time I'm actually gonna probably buy the watch on leather strap. I'm I'm not gonna buy it on. Um, the bracelet. Like, for some reason, when I look at the Fortis F39 or F41, whichever one you want to look at, the they don't seem right on bracelet. It just doesn't look right on bracelet. Oh, yeah, there's another one there. Anonymous watch guy picked up that Mont Blanc uh, Ice Diver, um, which I have dibs on it. So we're good. As soon as he sells it, I'll buy it. But that, that uh, Mont Blanc and the blue dial, I do like that one as well. Yeah, Luke, there's more and more lug sizing of 21. So, And I'm not afraid to order a custom strap either. So if it's going to work well for me. But I don't typically wear watches on leather or something like that. So that's my 
my only concern is, is I don't know how much I'll actually wear it. So I have some reservations on that. Let's see, still eyeing the Aorus ProPilot X400 in the mid. That's a pretty sweet watch, James. Uh, keep saying for the Speedmaster 57, also amazing watch. Do you like any Omega watches? There's a bunch of Omega watches I like right now. Um, the, uh, is it called the 57? Whatever, the uh, more vintage looking um, Seamaster one, the Seamaster 300. I don't know that I'm going to be spending Omega money anytime soon, though. Blue Ram says, I've got three Fortis watches, though I'm a fanboy. And that's where I'm kind of landing, too. Just like I like the, um, what's that other one I got? The Olek and Waz. I, I love that watch. Absolutely love it. Uh, kind of like a Phoenix brand or whatever, where they, you know. Well, and even Fortis is actually ran by a, a super fan of the company right now. Isn't he like the owner of it or something? So um, I think that kind of resonates with the community. It definitely resonates with the, the product. It seems like they're doing things that they would like to have and then they produce it and then the watch enthusiast community respond to it. So. But I might be selling, I don't know. I'm still in the, the mentality of not selling any watches right now, so we'll see. Show the orange and blue one again, please. Sure. I always forget what this one's called. Is it the Sig Signum or something? I can't remember what this one's called. Like, nowhere on the packaging. And, uh, no, I'm not rubbing my beard on the mic. And, and uh, nowhere on the watch does it give the full name of it. Uh, yeah, it doesn't even say it on the back. It's pretty wild. Uh, see, Blue Ram says, yeah, Jup is a great guy. Attended a webinar with Jup as a speaker. Very passionate. That's who I met at the... I was looking at my cards. That's who I met at the... Uh, New York windup was a job. That's the card I have. So I talked to somebody at Fortis via the WhatsApp chat, and uh, he he was going to get back with me. So I think the I think a bunch of the guys over there, people over there, are still on. Oh, he's the owner. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess I met him. Um, I'm not I'm not that big of a fanboy where I didn't you know I didn't realize who I was talking to. I just I just talked to people like they're people. So. Um, but I'm sure I'll see him again too if you know they're going to keep making an appearance at the wind up shows because I'll probably go to wind up 2023 I'll probably go to wind up in San Francisco and Chicago just ordered the steel G-Shock on their Black Friday sale that's cool Let's see. This one will be on a Sunday fun day soon. I think, actually, I have a... Uh, did I already sell it? I don't know. I thought I had the Gold Bling Master in, too, but maybe it's already gone. Uh, no, this was actually a gift, Dane. I could probably let you check it out, but I need to wear it a little bit. But, yeah, this was a gift, from uh, Mark. <laughs> so big thanks to Mark for hooking me up with this guy. But you being such a Gators fan, yeah, you should definitely check this out. Mr. Tube says, this channel is amazing. I watch it every week and it gives me a chance to get away from my wife. <laughs> Even for five minutes. Thank you again. Okay. Anytime. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't keep track. I'd have to look at the list. I keep my old sales list, but. Calico says Mark is giving him his watermelon if he does 
in a volcano. I'm excited. Uh, that's terrible. I bought my better half a ladies Victorinox filled watch in a vintage Timex. That's cool. Careful getting the females, the women in your life, uh, into watches, though. At least mine so far, she's, she doesn't really like to spend money. So hers, my wife, is more of an obsession of if I bring a watch to show her, she'll go like, oh, I really like that. And then that means that's code for uh, it's gone. That's hers now. So she has, um, she has one of these. Actually, this is my, I've been sniping these up on the low. Every time I see one for sale, I just pick it up. Um, so I have one, which was the proof model. Then uh, my wife bought one. I bought another one for my son, which he typically wears Apple watches. And he just sent me a wristwatch check today. And he was wearing his uh, Borealis Random Rob Edition um, not to toot my own horn or anything, but this thing is really good looking watch. And, uh, and then I, I had this one pop up at a reasonable price in my uh, discord. So I picked it up too. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but, um, Nick says, do I still have the Armida blue dial? I do not. I do not. I don't have that. Man, she's already obsessed with it. The Borealis is great. I agree. Yeah, that Signa was only 400 bucks. Yeah, that's a killer watch for 400 bucks. No, Calico, I'm not doing any more mods. No more mods. I do have a DIY watch that I need to build. Dane says, wife, don't have that issue. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the, I, I, I sent one to Larry C, too. So I don't know how many of these I've had. I forgot about that one, too. So, yeah, Larry C, let's see, me, Larry C, my wife, my son, and then, so I've had five now. I'm going to corner the market on them. There's only 50 of them, so. I was cornering the market as I'm watching. Yeah, I should I should do that again, right? Make a limited edition of 50 and I just I buy them all. So these will definitely be some affordable stuff coming up soon. That is for sure. And then I, I think Sunday I'll have I'll have plenty of crazy affordable stuff Sunday. Uh no, those two people in the UK, man, I don't know what they were doing. Dane says he doesn't want another wife. Uh, oh my god. Gross more. Let me watch this bands made of human flesh. Uh, that's pretty gross. Let's see. Okay, stick the Mustangs. Oh, thank goodness Dane's here. Oh, my peanut butter and jelly's gone, so now I'm sipping on water. Uh, Dane took care of him, like he always does. I should probably send him some watches to video. Sold my full metal square and miss it every day. Uh, which color did you have? I know quite a few people went with this one because they were worried that the gold was going to be too much. But the gold is actually, I think, <laughs> the uh, the one to go with. This one's really cool too, though. Not going to lie. This one's a good looking watch. It works. Yeah, the Gold Bling Master is my preference. I tried this one too, and then um, Bruce Williams sent me his gold one to video, and then I was like, nope, that one's gone. I'm buying the gold one for sure. Yeah, I don't know that the gold's really that flashy. I don't think it's that bad. 
I'll need to wear it. Here's mine. It's kind of an understated one. I haven't worn this in a while either. Calico says, sell them all. I'm not quite there yet. What is the teal watch on the desk? That's this one, and it's a Dufresne Travis. This is what it's called. Screw the crown. Uh, SPG, I have not done the Graf Zeppelin yet. Sorry, I didn't make the watch finder. No, that was, I haven't even watched the video, but I know that his list was uh, uh, a bunch of really good YouTubers on there. There's so many good YouTube uh, watch channels out there. What movement is in this? Um, it's a Swiss automatic, so it must be the Salita SW200. And these are assembled in Texas. Uh, let's see. Rob, do you currently own any Helsin? Curious your thoughts on those. I've had the Sharkmaster 38. I have the... Oh, shoot. It's, I don't know where it's at. It's packed away. But I have the uh, sh Shark Diver. I don't know which one I have. It's the one with the twisted lugs. Like I said, I still haven't put my watches away from the from the week. Um, Helsin makes some great watches, but they are more <sighs> tooly. Like they're not super refined. You know what I mean? So Kevin says back away. Um, yeah, they're. So if I ever leave or anything like that, all the all the watches get picked up and put in a safe. So. I still haven't picked them, gotten them out of there and put them in my watch room. So the next house, if I build the next house, the watch room will actually be a safe in itself. So uh, that's my plan with that. Uh, correct, Paul. Yeah, so that one's Travis for the uh, Travis Lake or Lake Travis. Hey, Rob, I know this is off topic, but... Have you seen the Holinky Mido GMT? The thing looks killer. I think there's a few people in my Discord that's actually even picked one up. Checking in late. Um, Falling Titans here from Escape, Ex Escapement and Watch. Don't lock yourself in the safe. Uh, it'll be a, it won't really be a safe in the traditional sense. It'll be more of a secure room. I guess it would be very difficult for someone to a find it and b even get into it. But that's I don't know if and when that's ever going to happen. Yeah, kind of like a panic room. Yeah, I think next week I might, uh, Ernesto, good night. <laughs> he's, he's checking in, checking out maybe. Um, yeah, it's, I'm going to have to switch next week. I might start at 8.30 or something, man. I am getting tired earlier and earlier. Yeah, I don't I don't obsess too much about all that stuff, guys. I mean, these are most of these watches that are in this room are pretty dang affordable watches. So it's not like I'm gonna freak out if something happens to stuff. I've I've had a total loss before. It's not a big deal. Um I'm insured for it and everything, so um it wouldn't freak me out. It's not like it's gonna ruin me or anything. I probably wouldn't even honestly lose too much sleep over it if it I know that sounds messed up, but they're just watches, guys. They're just material items. They don't really matter. You'll, we all move on. Uh, 
let's see. Got about five minutes left. Anybody got any last minute questions? Um, I have done the open enrollment, if you've stuck around this long. Uh, open enrollment for the Discord group. There's a few spots left. If you're interested, I'll put in an email link down below. Um, and you can email me and I will see about getting you in. Hector says you have to save the G-Men. I have a little surprise when it comes to the G-Men. Actually, I made an impulse buy uh, one of the nights. I don't remember what night over the my vacation. So, uh, But these guys right here, they're going to get some company. They're going to get some company. I'm excited about that. Yeah, so I had to do a little plug there for the Discord. Um, I like that it grows organically. Luke with the smiley face emoji. Nice. Luke knows. <laughs> he was staying up late. Well, actually, he's West Coast, so he wasn't staying up that late. I crashed early, but I was talking to him about ordering, taking care of some G-Man stuff. Uh, Discord, yeah. Yeah, just email uh, randomrobreviews at gmail.com. And yes, my beard, I did the no shave no, November and my beard is filling in pretty good. Um, I'll probably rock it maybe another week or two. I'll probably shave it before before Christmas. I don't know. I can only run it so long that it starts to bug me a little bit. I think I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to give you guys, we're going to do a little more time with the loom instead of just doing it at the last, last uh, portion of the show. How about we kill the lights right now and we play around with some loom because I'm already tired and I'm running out of things to talk about. Uh, no Vostok on the table. No Vostok on the table. But check out, the, here's the Orca. Nice, good loom on that guy. Um, if anyone's interested, this is the TGV watch. There's the loom on that guy. Nice BGW9 loom on that. The Dufresne actually has a fun loom pattern to it. Instead of the indices being fully loomed, they're framed, and it gives it kind of like a skeleton look. It's pretty cool. Seiko in the background. Here, the Devosa's actually got some decent loom. Kind of surprised on that. Nicely loomed on that guy. Uh, what is this? Is this the Tassel? This is the Tassel. Decent loom on that guy. Steel Dive with a little bit of a flex there over Seiko. This has loom, dual, two different colors, and it has the loomed bezel. Nice step up on that. Here is the one... <laughs> absolutely love this. This one like shocked me the first time I hit, turned the lights off and it got the full effect. Yeah, this is the Sigma. I'm going to blast it again real quick with the UV. Just so we get the full effect, but this thing is ridiculous. Yeah, Dane's like, that's it. I'm full loomed orange dial. Never seen it done before. Yeah, the orange is 100% glowing. Now, it's not going to be as potent as the other loom, the green loom or whatever it is. Um, the date wheel is also loomed. The crown is loomed. But the orange is more vibrant than I have. Where else? Um, Seiko did some orange loom, and it was pretty good. But uh, this one, I don't know what's going on. They just got a hold of some toxic material and threw it on the watch dial, packaged it up, and shipped it out the door for a pretty dang good price. So. Yeah, uh, this one's super fun. Um, that I it was a pretty cool watch. Um, the Mule suit is put away, but that one is that one's a really cool watch too. The Mule suit. I'll be doing a video on that pretty soon. But yeah, this like sealed the deal for me too. Dane is that full loomed orange dial. Perfect, perfect. Bunch of beeping going on. I think we've meet met the. Um, the hour goal. 
Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.